Hello there, my name is Hackaslack, and I made this video to show all the new server administrators how to set up a server on Windows. Um, in particular, I will be using Windows Server 2008 R2. Um, it is a natively 64 bit, it is a native 64 bit operating system. There is no 32 bit version. Um, so mine's all saved, so I'm just going to connect straight to Bloodbath. So, first thing is setting up FTP. We're going to want to go to Server Manager, which will usually be right next to the Start uh, button, and then usually see this page. Uh, but we're going to go straight to Roles. And then we're going to add a role, and we're going to add the web server role. Now, for me, since I separate out the web server from every other server that I run, I'm going to disable the web server component. That's for port 80. That's like websites like um, that you actually see. We're going to leave the management tool for the management console. And then we're going to leave the FTP service on. That's it. That's all we should need. And then we'll install. While that's going, I'm going to fire up Internet Explorer. And then I'm going to download uh, MySQL, which will be the database that we will use for Minecraft. Some people can choose to use SQLite or H2. I generally prefer to use MySQL so that I am more comfortable backing up data on that. Um, so we're going to go search for MySQL. So now we see the web server is installed. Uh, we're going to close this out. We won't need this right now. We're going to install my SQL. I have no radio button, so I have to use the keyboard. We'll add the firewall exception, disable strict mode, and keep going. Generally, I'd like to at least know what it's running, so 5.0. Put in the password that you're going to use for root. To make our lives simpler, we're going to enable root access for a remote machine. And if it doesn't. Okay, so now we're going to go here, go to the firewall. I'm going to have some rules in there already, I'll just remove them. Okay, no. so we're going to say new rule, we're going to allow a port, and we're going to allow a specific local port. Now this is debatable, but I'm going to do this because I want to be able to access it from elsewhere. So this will be for my SQL, and then we're going to add another rule, predefined, for our FTP server. We want to check passive and traffic in. Next, allow. And that should be it. And we're also going to want to find a rule for Minecraft. So we're going to select Minecraft. Wait, I'm sorry. Not that. 25565 is the Minecraft port. Um, let's see. If you use DimeMap, you want to open up port 8123 as well. And if you use any wrapper that requires uh, port 8080 open, you want to open up here as well. That would be for things like MCMyAdmin. So say next. Allow a connection. And we'll call it Minecraft. Okay, so now that MySQL is done, finish. Now we want to configure the FTP service. So, first thing we want to do, we want to go to Control Panel, User Accounts, uh, action, add or remove users. This is the portion where we create a limited account to run our server so that we don't run it as an administrator. That's it. Create a password, create, use a password that is different from your administrator account. Um, chances are, if you need help running your server, you'll be giving this password to some other admin that hopefully you trust that will help you run your server when you're asleep or at work or at school. Alright, so we're going to go to C, Users, Minecraft, Desktop. We actually already have that, so we'll delete that. But anyways, we're going to create a new folder. For a server. This is the Bloodbath server, so I'll create that for Bloodbath. So we're going to go to web server um, and expand that internet information services. Go here. Uh, we want to make sure the firewall is properly set up. It should be 0 0 so that has a dynamic range. All right, so we will delete the default website, get rid of that. We we'll want to create a add FTP, we we'll want to create a new FTP site. We'll call this Bloodbath FTP. Uh, this path will be here, 
So on Minecraft desktop bloodbath, we're not going to bind to anything. We're not going to set up any hosts, uh, be hosts. You can do that later on if you feel like you need to. Um, we're going to allow it to access to a spe specified user. We're going to allow Minecraft. We're going to write access uh, with basic authentication to finish. Okay, that should be it for that. Um, so if we explore this, we should be on Bloodbath. Yep, we are. So that should be good to go. On a note of FTP, there is two extra commands you need to run. Those would be in the description. Uh, basically, Server 2008's default rules for firewalls don't work too well. So we're going to have to go to Command Prompt, right-click it, run as administrator, paste, enter, and then run the second one. This will restart the FTP service. Okay, so now that's all taken care of. Well, finally, we'll need to install the Java JDK. So Java 1.6 JDK. Just install the default. Finish. You can delete these two. We don't need these installers anymore. Users, the ability to use remote desktop. Select users, add Minecraft. My bad, guys. Anyways. Close. Close. Alright. So, bloodbath.hackslack.com, Minecraft, and I forgot I changed the password to connect. And then since we're going to go here and find out how much memory we have, it should be 6 gigabytes. Just to be safe, I'm going to give it 4 gigabytes. Um, so up here we'll get 49.6 and 40.96 and we're going to go here, new, text documents, stop, and we're going to change our settings so we can actually see the extensions and go down here and edit this and on theory if we start this it should work yep there we go bucket 670 Jenkins yay MC 1.4 so we're going to do stop Oops. so my SQL workbench this is a tool you guys really should get it's very useful um, Google it, download it, use it. Um, on Windows, it actually looks the same, so it's okay. We're going to do new server instance, bloodbath.hackslack.com. And since I'm a bad admin, I'm going to store the password. Continue. And forever. Allow. Now, earlier I opened up the port for those and also we're not going to do any kind of remote management finish the reason we're doing this is because we need to add a user for Minecraft so I'm going to go under users we're going to add an account and for this one, I'm just going to call bloodbath alright so this bloodbath account will only be used on the server so we do not want uh, anyone else to connect except localhost. Localhost means only from this server. So, um, since Bloodbath's account will be run from this server, this server it'll, its host name will be Bloodbath at localhost, basically. All right. So now we got this. We had to do schema privileges. We're going to do Bloodbath. We actually should create a schema real quick. So we're gonna do new. Close that. Select here. And then we're going to create a schema. Schema is a database. So by default, we have the database server running, which is MySQL, but we don't actually have a database. And we only need one. Uh, most plugins will automatically put it in as um, as um, Minecraft. So we'll just go about it with uh, Minecraft as a schema. So create schema, leave everything else as default, just do Minecraft, apply, apply, close. 
variables. That's it. Now we got schema. So back to the configuration. Schema privileges limit uh, accounts to certain schemas. So we're just going to select bloodbath, add entry, uh, select a host only local host. We want to limit as much as possible. Select the schema. Uh, what the heck? Ah. So we're gonna begin. <sighs> Talk about the cock block schema, bloodbath, add entry, host, local host, select the schema, Minecraft. Okay, there. Um, and then we want to give it all privileges on its own database. If you don't know what to change, don't change it. All right, that should be it as far as the SQL configuration goes. So now we have a user for our Minecraft server. We have a database created for it, which is called Minecraft. Uh, we should be rosy in that regard. So I'm gonna download this and save, show in the finder. We're gonna put this into, we're gonna refresh this. Hey, look, it's our wonderful little folder. So we're gonna stick this in the big brother. And then, if we restart this, it'll probably throw a bunch of hissy fit errors about um, not having any configuration files. Okay, so we're gonna wait. It's downloading all its little um, libraries to help it connect to databases. I think by default it uses H2, but for the purpose of demonstration, we're gonna use MySQL. Now, obviously you have a lot more plugins than this, but this is just to show you how to get the database part working. So we're gonna do, we're going to stop this again. This is why we have FTP access. Anyways, scratch that. I'm dumb. If you are using Windows, get Notepad++ on your local computer. So localhost, um, I'm going to do secret bloodbath pass. Great password, huh? Minecraft and localhost. We want to select a username as um, bloodbath. That's the settings we entered in earlier. We're gonna do type mysql. Uh, we're gonna leave everything else stock since it's not really an introduction on how to configure bloodbath. So now we're gonna go back here and run this again. So it should work. Now if we go to, if we want to double check it, we can reopen up MySQL Workbench. Click on the bloodbath one. Click on Minecraft schema, and then see we have BB data, BB users, BB worlds. So now we can run our wonderful little client, connect to our server, and verify that this shit's actually working. So bloodbath.hackaslack.com. Did I open my ports right? Yes, I did. Yay. Hackaslack has logged in. Woohoo! I can fly because there's no no cheat plugin. Anyway, so now if I break this block of dirt, it's not gonna let me break this block of dirt, is it? Oh, it is. Hello, generate world faster. I love world generation. I don't know why Notch makes this shit so laggy. It's like, crash my server more, please. Anyways, so now if we go under Big Brother, BB users, we should have Hackaslack, yay. And if we go back to overview and BB data, we should have player two, Action 8 and Action 5. I'll have to look that up. But pro it probably meant I broke the dirt. So, herp dirt. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. There's a wiki somewhere. I want to help you guys Google that. Wiki. And then we're going to go to Action List. So we're going to see here. Player 2 had Action 8 and Action 5. One's probably login and one's probably breaking. Oh, command. I used a command. What the fuck? Well, anyways, I don't know anymore. Block broken is zero. Okay. Did I use a command? I don't remember using a command. I flew. Maybe that's a command? I don't know. So yeah, there we go. That's a quick rundown how to get your server up and running and relatively secure. Now, I'm not going to go into auto start scripts and everything else, but uh, probably another video. So yeah, anyways, later.